Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, gaming news. Let's check what is happening in MMORPG and in gaming world in general. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of MMORPG videos in the future. This evening, let's start with Throne and Liberty, because exciting week is in front of us. You can see here in front of me, close beta test is starting on April 10 up to April 17. If you are interested into this new upcoming PC MMORPG, and when I say new upcoming PC MMORPG, also available on PlayStation 5 and Xbox one day in the future, check my YouTube channel, because this game is still not released globally, however, it was released in Korea on December 7, 2023. Since day one, I'm playing every evening on servers in Korea, and also I am live streaming on Twitch, so visit me on Twitch every evening about 6 p.m. if you are interested into this new upcoming title. For this evening, just to let you know, closed beta test is getting very close, April 10, that is just in a few days. You can see here, developers of this game, NCSoft, and publisher of this game for global version, Amazon Games, they are preparing lots of different kind of things uh, to test, also they have prepared this event schedule regarding castle sieges, you can see here, tax delivery system, arc bosses, lots of different kind of interesting content to play, sadly with NDA. NDA will be up, so you will not be able to see any kind of video footage, any kind of streams, any kind of information from this closed beta test. Nevertheless, this is a huge step forward into the direction of global release of this game. When? Nobody knows. We all hope very soon, but it might be basically at any time during 2024. However, like I said, this closed beta test could potentially be also final test. I doubt that Amazon Games and NCSoft will go for some kind of open beta test. There is no purpose for that. They can do stress test right now within this closed beta test. So no need for any kind of open beta to do stress test. They can do it right now. I can only hope that we'll get very soon global release of this game. And in the meanwhile, we can check what is happening on servers in Korea. I can show here latest new update from April 3rd. And actually the smallest update so far regarding Korean version of the game. Nothing much we didn't get within this new update. Usually we are all the time getting new features like new dungeons. They're polishing the game. That's absolutely true. Developers of this game, NCSoft, they're still fixing some things, they are polishing the game, but in general, game is ready to be released. Also, they are fighting against both accounts, and actually, they are succeeding. I can see in the game, because I am playing every evening on servers in Korea, much less bots in the game. So, anti-bot system and banning bot accounts is actually working. When I see anything new is happening regarding Throne and Liberty, you'll find news immediately on my YouTube channel. In the meanwhile, check about 200 videos. Yes, 200 videos I have regarding Throne and Liberty on my YouTube channel, and I'm preparing at least 200 more videos for global release of the game, regarding guides for new players, news, updates, whatever you want to know regarding TL, you'll find out here on my YouTube channel. For this evening, just to share with you exciting news, closed beta test is starting on April 10 up to April 17, probably it will be final test. I hope you have get in. If you didn't get the key, don't worry. You'll be able to play this game globally, I hope, very, very soon during 2024. Let's go forward with Blade & Soul Neo Classic. Now, what is interesting regarding Blade & Soul Neo Classic is that within last three weeks, absolute silence from NCSoft, which is kind of strange, I have to admit. We have seen about maybe two months ago huge marketing campaign regarding Blade & Soul Neo Classic. We still didn't get any kind of release date for this uh, new version of the game. Nevertheless, we have seen so many trailers, big advertising from NCSoft, and now for the three weeks, complete silence. Maybe NCSoft, that is my assumption, they have a huge focus currently on their Battle Royale, let's call it on that way, Battle Crush uh, game, right? Maybe that, uh, they have focus on that release. Also, they are preparing a release of Blade & Soul S, collectible kind of game. Blade & Soul S, BSS, is something different from Blade & Soul Neo Classic. 
So that is completely another story. I'll talk about that game in the future. So maybe they have shift focus. Nevertheless, just to let you know for this evening, I'm covering, I'm following every single day what is happening with Blade and Soul Neo Classic. As soon as I see any kind of news, you'll see it immediately here on my YouTube channel. And of course, in the future, I will play and cover this game. For this evening, shortly to let you know, no, you didn't miss anything. There is no news regarding Blade and Soul Neo Classic at all, which is kind of strange. For three weeks, absolute silence from NCSoft. Let's go forward with Talisman, because things are happening regarding this new upcoming PC MMORPG, also available on mobile devices. And you can see here in front of me on official website of Talisman, you can already pre-register. You can pre-register for release. They still didn't announce, developers of this game, any kind of release date, but we are getting closer. I can see very highly increased activity of developers of this game all over social media. They are introducing us to different kind of classes, different kind of in-game features, all the time some kind of posts, uh, teasers. Also, we are getting this Ask Me Anything special event regarding PvP, PvE, classes, economy, Ask Jaya Anything. Check this event on their official Twitter account. You can also ask a different kind of questions regarding the game. I have a feeling that very close we'll get announcement regarding release date. Talisland, uh, actually, pleasant surprise. Very pleasant surprise. I had the opportunity to play this game during Close Beta Test 1 and Close Beta Test 2. I have entered for the first time Close Beta Test 1. Uh, like open-minded and I was surprised regarding quality of this game. Don't get me wrong, we are not talking here about a World of Warcraft killer, absolutely not. However, if you want to play one, I would say casual, more, uh, yeah, absolutely, more casual, free-to-play PC MMORPG with huge diversity of beautiful classes to play. Currently, I think there is nine classes in the game. Uh, open world, uh, raids, dungeons on three levels of difficulty, a 10 versus 10 PvP, arenas, PvP arenas, crafting system, guild system, check Talisman. Everything is packed into really beautiful graphic design. So I have to say one very interesting option, free to play option, and without any doubt, very highly popular option to play later during this year. Still no release date, just to let you know for this evening, but pre-registrations are up here on official website of Talisman. Check it out. Pre-register, you can play this game on Windows, on PC, and also on App Store and Google Play. That means on your mobile devices. Check it out later during 2024. When I see any kind of news regarding Talisman, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Because during Close Beta Test 1 and Close Beta Test 2, I have really enjoyed in gameplay of this game. I have no doubt, if you want to play one more little bit casual, light, not hardcore MMORPG, absolutely not, but something casual, really beautiful. Graphic design of this game is really beautiful. You will try to play Talisman. Let's go forward with Ion Classic European version of the game. Because just recently we have got a new update 2.7 with release of new class Revenant. Yes, that is the name of new class, Revenant, not Executioner. Gameforge have decided to change the name of this class for European version of the game. Regarding this new update, you can already check some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel. Very interesting update. It's not only about a new class. We can also get new arena, free versus free, and many other interesting dungeons. So check uh, also other changes regarding this new update on my YouTube channel in some dedicated videos. Ion Classic European version of the game is still alive, especially on Atreya server. Other server, Tahabata, I'm not so certain regarding population of players. I'm not playing over there on Tahabata. I did play recently when we have get the release of this class Revenant. That was just about one week ago. I have played and live stream new class Revenant. I have seen many players running around me. So game is still alive absolutely on Atreya server. Check it out, Ion Classic, new class Revenant, and update 2.7 on Gameforge servers in Europe. Like I said, Ion Classic on European servers is still alive. If you like to play one classical MMORPG, old-fashioned, tab-target kind of MMORPG, check Ion Classic European version of the game. 
Let's go forward with Once Human. This evening I need to mention Once Human because I was really tempted not only to play this game during closed beta test 3, which is currently up, there is no NDA. Also, I was thinking even maybe I will, you will maybe see some live streams on Twitch from Once Human closed beta test 3. Why? Well, this is not MMORPG, absolutely not MMORPG, but I can show you here from description of this game Okay, game will be released in quarter three of 2024 as a free to play game that is coming very soon. So this is survival open world shooter kind of game. Let's call it like that. Beautiful graphic design, very interesting storyline and very good combat are main attributes of this game. You can see here base building, multiplayer, yes, horror to some point, PvP included, free to play title, zombies are there in the game, survival, Absolutely. Survival would be like a main word to describe this game. Nevertheless, open world shooter kind of survival game. So I am excited to try to play Once Human very soon. I'm not sure will I live stream, but I might. Once Human, check it out. I can show you here. This is official website of Once Human. Beta tests have started on April 4th on different kind of devices, on mobile devices and on Steam via PC. You can see here in the left upper corner, actually, can you see? I think you can see here pre-registrations. More than 10 million players have pre-registered to play this game. This is really amazing. And also release very soon. Beautiful graphic design, open world shooter kind of game that appeals to me absolutely. I'm really, I'm really kind of sad. I have to say that I don't have much time. Currently, I have a huge focus on Throne and Liberty. But like I said, if I will get any time at all you'll see some once human gameplay on Twitch uh, during my live streams. So check it out if you like this type of the game. This is not only MMORPG gaming news video. Yes, main focus of my YouTube channel are new upcoming MMORPGs. But when I see some game interesting to me, like this one, which is not MMORPG, I need to mention to you. So once human potentially could be huge. Release of this game will be huge regarding gameplay, in-game features, everything. I will let you know uh, on my YouTube channel in the future, like I said. But uh, for you, just to let you know this evening, try to join closed beta test free. There is no NDA. You can make videos, you can live stream. You don't need to. If you want to just try to play this game, you can do that. I think there is still some room maybe to enter this closed beta test free. I'm not certain, but anyway, try because it have just start recently on April 4th. Once human, I will keep my eye on this game. When I see something interesting, I will let you know about that. And if I find it interesting, like I said, you'll see some live streams on Twitch. Let's go forward with Reino Guilds, new MMORPG released recently on April 4th on Steam. Did I say the date correct? Yes, I did. Release date April 4th. You can see here developer and publisher of this game, Atlant Games, just shortly to mention what kind of game is actually Reino Guilds. Early access, okay, so this game went into early access on April 4th. MMORPG, first person RPG, multiplayer, obviously. PvP and PvE included, indie kind of indie developer, right? Medieval theme, fantasy. This is interesting. So they are mixing medieval and fantasy together. So they're both, okay? Open world action RPG, sword play, magic class based, I like that. Economy, crafting, nice, politics and diplomacy. You can see here price of this game currently minus 15%, uh, 27 pounds, a little bit more. Uh, check it out on Steam. We can see here mixed reviews. Actually, they're not that bad. 68% of 137 user reviews for this game are positive. So not many reviews. Nevertheless, 68% of the reviews are positive. That's not so bad. It's not something amazing, but also it's not that bad. So. In the previous week, right, Reign of Guilds have entered early access. Uh, check it out, MMORPG. It's not free to play game. You will need to pay some money to play it. But if you don't have anything else to play while we are waiting releases of some other new upcoming MMORPGs, big titles, check Reign of Guilds. New MMORPG, which went into early access on April 4th. And on the end of this video, I need to mention Lost Ark. 
Why? Because not only that we have get recently new class breaker, because also there are many things all the time happening with global version of the game. You can see here all the new updates from publisher of this game for global version of the game, Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG, developers of this game. But let's check number of players. I want to see did Breaker manage to increase number of players for Low Stark and will Breaker and really high activity of developers and publisher of this game manage to manage to save global version of the game. Because don't forget, later during 2024, when we are talking about MMORPG gaming agenda, there are many new games incoming, especially specifically regarding MMORPG gaming agenda. So Low Stark, well, they will need to fight to survive because competition is coming. So let's check what we have here. 24 hour peak, 60.3 thousand players. Currently, when I'm making this video, 53.5 thousand players. That is actually not that bad. So we can see a little bit of increase in number of players with this new update and uh, with Breaker, right? A new class, but not much, not much. Can Lost Stark survive 2024? That is a really good question. And we will need to wait for some other new MMORPG releases to see what will happen with number of players. Number of players of Lost Stark is not looking that bad as for example, for New World. New World is currently about, I think, uh, 12,000, uh, 13,000 people, 24 hour peak uh, players, right? But uh, this is looking much better. Nevertheless, there are some bots in the game, I know, but not for sure 60,000 bots. No, absolutely. So Lost Stark, still interesting option to play now during 2024 as one, I would say more casual thing to play while we are waiting for some other bigger releases like Throne and Liberty, maybe some other games, right? We are waiting also for Alpha 2 of Ashes of Creation. So until we are waiting for some other new MMORPG releases later during 2024, maybe try to play Lost Stark. It's a free to play game, right? It's still alive. To some point, it's not dead, right? 60,000 people, right? Maybe there is 10,000 bots. So let's say 50,000 people. It's still alive. Check it out while we are waiting for some other releases. And while we are waiting for this closed beta test of Throne and Liberty. And finally, global release of Throne and Liberty. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for this evening, now you're fully updated regarding what is happening in MMORPG and in gaming world in general. Every Sunday on my YouTube channel, you will see this type of the video where you will see all the important information from the previous week and also regarding what is coming to us in the very near future. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. So join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.